it, this has been a long, long journey. I mean, it's more uh, honestly of an obsession, to tell you the truth. I'm obsessed with this deer. <laughs> yep. Completely and utterly obsessed with him. What you shooting? Uh, this is the Bear Kuma. Nice. Got the uh, full metal jackets, but man, tonight it goes down. Money. Oh, yeah, he's dead tonight. Tonight. Yes, if sir. I have that shot right there, that's all that matters, honestly. All the preparation, all the time. Four years. Four years. And it can end tonight. It seriously can end tonight for us. We got the right wind. We got the right spot. You know, if we can get in there easy, un, you know, undetected, I think it goes down tonight. It's been a combination of fun times, hard times, you know, stressful times, and, and uh, obsession. An obsession. All my time is went after this deer. Everything, all, all of my resources, all of <laughs> the last four years has just been completely obsessing over this deer and what it's doing and where it's at. And then, you know, you find out someone else is hunting him and someone else has shot him. One of my friends, Cody, he shot him as well. He survived. Like, this deer is just, he's, he's a puzzle. I mean, that's exactly why we named him Jigsaw. It's like, he's a, like, he's a jigsaw puzzle. You can't figure him out. I, I've learned a lot about him. Within the last four years, I've learned, his, you know, history with this deer is everything. With all deer, really, uh, especially mature deer, you start to figure out where their, where their home place is. You know, where their, where their rut area is where he's gonna move to you know I got it down to even almost a specific date to where I know where he's gonna leave and come back and uh, you know this year I think I'm gonna get a 110% obsession I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with this deer and honestly I think I'm gonna go get him tonight that's what I think it's all about the hunt and knowing you know the animal you're after and you know I think I, I got a, a pan on him and I think tonight I think he goes down get out there, get set up, and everything's going perfect, honestly. Have four does come in, you know, they come in, they feed around for a little bit, and they just mosey off. Honestly, I look up, and I see a deer coming in. It's, it's nothing special, but I, I flip up my camera, and I get all excited just because it's, you know, a, a little buck coming in, and I'm sitting there filming him, and all of a sudden, just jigsaw just out of nowhere I just see a footprint you know a leg come into the, uh, the the view there and I'm just like man like I knew exactly who it was like right then one of his running buddies Mr. T he was in there as well he was in there rubbing and I thought you know either one of those deer I'm gonna take this year both of them are the hit on the hit list but uh, they came in just rubbed around kind of fiddled around a little bit and they wouldn't commit they didn't want to come all the way in out of the four years that I have been hunting this deer, I've only had four encounters with them. Well, I just got back from checking some some shell cameras. Uh, it's two days until the season, and uh, I got some really good footage of uh, Mr. T and Jigsaw. Mr. T has really, really put on a good amount of growth, to tell you the truth, just from the video that I got to see. Um, he looks good. He looks like, you know, he put on a good 15, 20 inches. Made up my mind that Mr. T is big enough. You know, that I think Mr. T, if he comes in, 
he's gonna get you know he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna go on the wall as first I'll ask him for some more pieces of property right now and I am pretty positive I just got the money spot we'll see uh, I know that there's another hunter on the back side of this property here but uh as I was walking in I saw a nice buck bound off uh, I'm not sure on the size yet. Let me give you a little view of it real fast. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. The most underrated place is where these, these big deer are. Right in the middle of a neighborhood, right at the end of this cul-de-sac. Jake's gonna come back tonight, I know he will. He's on a pattern. We're gonna sneak in there and hang a stand.
You weren't even the one hunting it. <laughs> I could hear you breathing. I'm sorry about the reaction. I was very, very surprised. My heart, and I, I'm not even shooting, and my heart was pounding out of my chest. Especially when he looked at us. Uh, we're on the board. It was simply amazing. I, I thought he was gone. I had one chance, one opportunity. <laughs> he he looked at us and he started moving his head. He was about to be out of there. He was, he was gone. And uh, to me, it looks like I definitely shot him good. So we'll get back to y'all on that one. But. Too many deer here, man. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. You see that? Rock, when did he run this way? Mm -hmm. Over here. There he is right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh. oh my god, man. Cody. Dude. <laughs> oh my Look at god. That. Look at oh my gosh. Mr. T, he's gone, man. What did we say? I freaking smoked him. What did you say, bro? Give me some. Dude, that's my biggest deer. There ain't no doubt about it. That's my biggest deer. 110%. That is a beautiful animal. I got to share this this whole experience with my best friend Cody, I can't even hey, I can't even explain this moment right now. This is absolutely amazing. Dude, that's a giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cody, <laughs> look at that shot, bro. Look at that shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my goodness. I'm absolutely blessed. Two days ago I killed Mr. T. And I uh, had a nice, very nice encounter tonight with uh, Jigsaw. I think it might go down this week as long as uh, the weather can stay the way it is. But, kind of an update here. My buddy that really, you know, like, is a crazy story that I'll completely break down towards the end of this video about Jigsaw. But he absolutely just got one of his, uh, his deer that he's been watching grow up for the last two or three years now. And... Uh, it's a good one, guys. I can't wait to show everybody. Well, here he is. I told y'all I was coming up here to see a big one. Um, yeah, dude. I, I would not have hunted if not for this guy. The other bucks would come in 20, 30 minutes ahead of him, but he would come in right at dark, and everybody he was moved up 45 minutes because of the weather. Yep. And uh, he came in, and I was already set, and uh, 24 yards, and double lugged him. You can see he's been rubbing heavy. I mean, it's that time of year, so he's got wet man that's a giant man yeah I, all this junk down here is really cool too 
And this is a deer you've had history with, I mean. Yeah, interesting history, because so like, there's not any other deer in this area with the genetics that I've seen with the main beans that stay out. I'm not seeing it. I mean, we get really intimate with these deer too. We know their patterns almost to a T. And uh, lack I'm, of pattern. Well, lack of pattern, <laughs> absolutely. Like Either one, you know what I mean. And uh, you know, he's he finally got the smackdown on it, and that is just as one beautiful animal. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that that is something special. That's a beautiful animal. I'll tell you that. That's one beautiful animal. I don't even know why I'm out here to tell you the truth. I guess just hopes of jigsaw making his way back down here but matt the neighbor um which was showed previously in the, the mr t video um he got pictures of jigsaw last night we know that's an area that he runs to so i guess we'll uh sit back and kind of you know just wait and see we'll, we either get another good one in here or you know, wait until Jigsaw makes his way back down here. No sign of Jigsaw yet. He's, from what I understand, he's still up there at Matt's property. Hopefully he makes his way back down here soon. He's not showing up on my cameras. So I'm hoping uh, he's kind of on some does or, you know, staking out an area in between us. And maybe he'll... Uh, Make a slip up in the stake tonight. It's probably been about, I'd say about a week or so since I've been out. And, uh, you know, Jigsaw's really thrown me a curveball this year. He left about a week earlier than he normally does and, uh, really just hasn't shown back up on mine or Matt's property. Um, but I'm, so I got me a new setup, came in here, hung it today, and I'm set up, it's a little later, you know, I'd like it to be, you know, I really just want Jigsaw, really, after getting Mr. T, it's just, it's been a, a struggle, to tell the truth. I just got the call that Jigsaw got shot. Matt got him last night. He found a little bit of blood, but the blood started slowing down, so he backed out. As long as we can get back on that blood and find him. Uh, sometimes the story just doesn't end the, the way that you expect it to. I'm super stoked for, for Matt, honestly. We both have been on after this animal for a long time. Four years of, of you know, going after one animal is a long time. Hopefully we can get out here and find him. That's how the story goes with Jigsaw. Oh my God. Oh my God, I did it. I did it, I got Jigsaw. I got him. Three days ago, Matt shot him. I haven't had a single picture of him, not one. I just did it. My freaking camera messed up. I couldn't get it on film. Oh my god. I can't stop shaking. Oh my god. Four years. Four years. I just ended. I see him. I see him right now. Oh my god. Look at that, bro. You got it. You got it. Oh man. Oh man. That's a gut shot. No, it's, it's back some, yeah.
<laughs> Jesus. Dude. Dude. Oh my god, four years. Look where he got hit. Oh dude, he hit him right there. Hit him low. That that's the biggest deer I've ever shot in my life, man. Dude, that thing is huge. What did I say? What did I say? This thing is freaking huge. That's four years right there. Four years of history. <laughs>